As the sun starts to go down, having I've got just enough time to get in several more locos. And this is this loco is absolutely amazing. Um, you can probably tell that she's a class 67. And if you can't, the easiest way to tell is by these two short little streamlined bits at the end. We can check. Yeah, she's um, an EWS class 67. But she's not a normal EWS. She's not in a typical EWS livery. And a clue to what livery she's in is her name. She's the Queen's messenger. She's part of the Royal Train, basically. As you know, I've already got the Royal Train. And Liz, if we zoom in, is just over there. Uh, Princess Royal Class. And she's designed to pull, the royal, to pull the royal train, whose coaches are just over there. Well now, we've got another loco to pull the royal train. A modern one, as well. So let's get her open and see what she's like. DCC jacket. And here we go. Instructions for the Class 67. I've not opened up any instructions for the um, Class 67 before. This is the first 67 I've ever had. But it's the pretty usual fare. Where and how to fit the DCC chip, how to care for her, where to lubricate with oil, how to take the body off, and stuff like that. We're used to those, aren't we? Yeah. So, there she is. Well, again, the packaging is better than usual. Now, we've got some accessories here. We've got what look like to be, well, to be honest, I'm not too sure. I really don't know what those bits are. But these are definitely detailing accessories for, um, for the front and rear beams. They look like uh, brake pipes and power connectors and stuff like that. Let's just consult very quickly the instructions to see if it can give us any clues. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It seems as if it's something you attach underneath the buffer beam and then attach some accessories to it. How interesting. Well, anyway. So there we go. Accessories to one side. There she is. The Class 67. Just take off this plastic wrapper. Oh wow, she is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. She's really, really quite heavy for a start. Um, she's made by EMD, I think, isn't she? The uh, is it EMD? I'll put it on the screen if I'm right or wrong. So she's an American manufacturer. The, of the, uh, the Class 67 and you can tell by this rather curved looking fuel tank which seems to appear on the Class 66 as well and the Class 59 but let's see what she like well she does light up I think we'll see in just a second but you can see that they've fitted some some basic detailing there which we can improve obviously with the accessory pack there's window wipers which is quite nice the roof is lovely I mean just look at that grill it's playing havoc with the camera but to the human eye which can cope with that sort of thing much better it is lovely there's grills on the side which are just as nice there's the um, the royal crown there on the side. That's nice too. There's even little warning signs along the bottom. But what's most striking is this this colour. This sort of really rich burgundy. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm going to have to get another Class 67 because I really like them now. <laughs> uh, but it will be beautiful to have her pulling the, the royal train. She honestly looks 
really nice. I mean, she's not the best. She's not the most detailed diesel loco I've ever had. But she's really nice. Not bad for the money. She's excellent. If you can get her, if you can get it or these locos at a good price, they're definitely worth it. I think we've got to put her on the track and see what she's like. Well, the Class 67 um, from Hornby is DCC ready, but this particular model hasn't been chipped yet. So she's going to have to run on a DC line until we chip her. So there we go. All wheels are on. Select direction. And off she goes. And smoothly she does it as well. I've not set the power setting very high. It's not set very high at all. But she's running really, really well. Really smooth. And smoothly she goes. She's a little bit noisy, but she is going to need running in. She is brand new, so you have to bear that in mind. But I've set the power setting at a pretty reasonable power setting. What's really nice is that she's got lights, working lights. I don't know if they're directional or not. Let's just look at the back, see if we can see any red ones. No. Perhaps she's only got white lights in the direction of traveling. Give her a bit more power. Get her going a bit quicker. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's really been opened up now. She's not hanging about at all, is she? She's got a lovely motor and a lovely mechanism. close-up shots. And then get her to go slow again. So she can go slow. And in fact, it seems as if her gearing is designed really for her to go at speeds like this, which is perfect for the Royal Train, I suppose, because that train doesn't exactly speed around. She's the queen.